Alright. Hello and welcome back to Plain Old Gaming. Perfect Dark. Aw oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Here we are on the next mission, the Carrington Villa. We're not exactly sure, but let's see what's going on. Agent Dark, mission log 1846 hours. Last night we got a call from Cassandra de Vries. A data dying team have taken Daniel Carrington hostage at his private villa on the coast. And they say they will spare his life in exchange for the AI. Unfortunately, we don't have it. Daniel and Dr. Carroll were at the villa to discuss matters of mutual interest. It looks like Daniel found a way to hide Dr. Carroll inside the villa when the data dying hit squad arrived. Hopefully, our phony negotiator ploy will give me a chance to surprise the Data Dine squad. This time, it's not just my life on the line. Quite a development. See, the reason I couldn't play this on the emulator is because that sky glitched black on my emulator and I did not want to play like that. So I have to quickly, and I mean quickly, kill these two guys. Oh. No! No! Wow. <laughs> Could you fail more than that? Probably not. Okay. She's safe. So basically... Yeah, anyway, so basically... I'm just shooting these to get some grenade rounds. Secret, uh, Nintendo 64 knowledge. Ooh, headshot. Anyway, so our boss, Daniel Carrington, has been kidnapped and held hostage. Well, he hasn't been kidnapped, this is his house. He's been held hostage, or he's being held hostage, by the Data Dine people. Is he still alive? He is too. So basically, now my job is to kill as many guys as I can and save my boss. Oh! Snaps. Now, if I were to destroy a lot of these boxes, I would get some more ammo. For a special weapon that you also have to get by destroying a box. But I have inside information, so I know exactly where that is. Oh! Don't you- don't you dare! If you shoot their weapon out of their hand, and they're still alive, they will try to kill you. But they'll try to, like, punch you in the face instead. Which isn't exactly the nicest thing. Prepare yourself for one of the most epic moments in the game right here. Come on! Alright, fine. Come here, you. Come on! Oh. Oh! Oh! I don't know why, but I just love that moment. I'm probably a really bad person, but... I love that moment. It's one of the only- it's pretty much the only time someone actually, you know, has much of an action much. There's a shield over here. I just got the special weapon. The Devastator. It's a grenade launcher. Pretty darn sweet. Anyway, I'm gonna get out my... I really suck with the sniper rifle. I don't know why. I find it a bit tricky. I don't know if that's just this controller, the fact that I'm on an Xbox controller, or... or what it is... What the... What the heck do you think you're doing? I'm trying to snipe snipers, and he's just shooting at me. Well, that wasn't much of a headshot, but it was alright. Still killed him. Oh, there's a headshot for you. I might not be too good at first-person shooters, but Perfect Dark is... This is my element here. I am pro at Perfect Dark. Might not be so evident here with this silly sniper rifle, but Perfect Dark really makes it easy to look, uh... Pro. <laughs> Not that hard to kill people. 
Especially on easy difficulty. <laughs> Did I kill Frodo again? No, I didn't. That's someone else. I swear, some of these, um... Well, of course they upped all the graphics and everything, but some of the faces on these guys look like famous people. Not even kidding. Not all of them, but some of them do. Like one looks like kind of... He looks like Elijah Wood. He looks like Frodo. Not sure if that was, you know, intentional, completely coincidental, or what. But he does look like Elijah Wood. Where's the other guy? Okay. No need to waste much time exploring the rest of this villa. You can tell our boss is extremely famous. Or, not famous. Extremely rich. To have a villa like this. Please don't shoot you. Um, I'm sorry, I don't have anything to pistol whip you with. Oh, he's over there. I thought a sniper was trying to shoot me from the roof. And he's done. Sometimes, instead of just dying instantly, it'll have a a five second if I get the wind death wind animation. Wind online, I'll get power which is pretty sweet. Wind. Like that guy, doing a dance. And the fact that uh, there's a bit of an auto-aim function here is pretty darn sweet. I don't have to work so hard to shoot these guys. Which is why it was excellent on the N64 as well, because on the N64 those control sticks, they really started to break down. Like all my N64 controllers, all the control sticks are pretty worn out, so if you want to run forward you have to like wham that thing forward as hard as you can. Like, I remember getting, like, um, dents in my thumb from doing that. Oh man. It was a great system. Of course the Xbox is much smoother, which is why I'm having absolutely no trouble. Oh, I shot a wine bottle. The funnest thing to do is just smash all the wine, all the centuries old wine that Daniel has been collecting his entire life. We're just shooting it up. Probably makes me a really cruel person, but it's pretty fun. Okay, let's see if he's in here. Sir, are you injured? No, John. I'm okay. But those Datadyne thugs made me tell them where I'd hidden Dr. Carroll. Only I'd held out for a few minutes more. It's not your fault, sir. I should have been quicker. Don't blame yourself, Joanna. Dr. Carroll told me that he expected this to happen. Actually, when they recaptured him, the Datadyne team got overconfident and let slip a few facts when they thought I was unconscious. They mentioned a meeting in the G5 building in Chicago, Illinois tonight. I want you to be there. That doesn't leave you a lot of time to get ready. That won't be a problem, sir. So, did Dr. Carroll have any useful information for you? Oh, yes, indeed. He certainly did. And I'll brief you when you're on your route to Chicago. We might still be able to help him, even after those butchers remove his personality. He thinks they'll keep a copy of it in a safe place. About time I called in some friends to deal with Data Dine. Dun, dun, dun. Basically, Dr. Carroll has been captured. They're gonna get rid of his personality. And apparently, the heads of the operation, whatever they're planning, are gonna be meeting in Chicago. Which is our next meeting. Our next next mission. 
Why do I have meetings stuck in my head? I don't know. Anyway, that's it for this episode. I've been Trifinity Vortex, and I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye!